Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Do you believe in ghosts? What about a ghost who haunts a library? Well, in today's story, we have a ghost who has haunted the library for 80 years, but now it's scheduled to be demolished. She's very sad because she doesn't want to lose her home and the special place for others to get books. With the help of a feisty young girl, they work hard to try and save this special place. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as I read The Lady of the Library, written by Angie Karcher and illustrated by Rachel Sanson, and find out if they saved the library. She roams the halls and walks through walls and simply disappears. The lady of the library has haunted here for years. She floats and flies and flitters, giving everyone a scare. Each day she shrieks and squeals, but now the place is bare. Soon a few librarians box each and every book. The lady doesn't scare them. She sees how sad they look. She swoops and sweeps, a somber ghost in melancholy blue, with no one left to frighten. Are her days of haunting through? But then a little girl walks in right through the grand front door. She circles round the boxes that are stacked up on the floor. She sits and sketches silently. She knows just what to do. The little girl looks around. Hey, lady, where are you? The lady is astonished, but she whimpers. I'm up here. The girl holds out a tissue. Please dismount the chandelier. The lady swooshes down, slowly swishes with a swirl. We need to save this place cries out the feisty little girl. Yes, I know. It's been my home for over 80 years. They put their heads together as the lady dries her tears. They plot and plan, prepare, as this crisis is extreme. And this, their first attempt at a risky rescue scheme. They stand up rows of books to form a literary train, and when the line of books creates a long and winding chain, they pack in paparazzi and the press from far and wide. Soon people come in droves to see this spectacle inside. In hushed anticipation, people whisper as they lean to get a peek of this mystique, a ghostly bookish scene. The lady gets it started as the books fall one by one. The people cheer and donate as they watch the falling fun. The next day, folks in hard hats are scattered far and near, dismantling the reference desk and every bookshelf here. The lady screams and squeals and snickers. The workers run in fear. Ma ha ha ha! She bellows. We don't want your sawdust here. Soon the lady and the little girl have hard hats on themselves. They build a slide, four cases high, from all the wooden shelves. They saw and sand until the slide is slippery and swift. They polish, then they wax it to prevent a splintered gift. The slide is luring people as they hear the sanders humming. They beg to see to ride the slide, and soon the crowds are coming. The press and paparazzi come from regions far and wide. Townspeople come in droves to see this spectacle inside.
The little girl is first to go. They count her down from ten, nine, eight. And then she slips past science fiction, 201 to 304. She zips past Chinese history and slides by the Civil War. The people give donations. The line is out the door. And then they go around again to slide the slide once more. They squeal, they scream, they smile until the last one gets to go. The lady and the little girl hold boxes full of dough. Oh, my. They count the dollar bills and change. It's simply not enough. This mission seems impossible, too challenging, too tough. Technicians shut off antique lamps that light up every room. Without the power, darkness fills the place with midnight gloom. The ladies' haunting outburst cause their mouths to open wide. Their eyes are big as quarters and their fear is hard to hide. They stampede, scared and stumble, rushing quickly out the doors. She proudly chuckles loudly. Don't come back here anymore. The lady and the little girl both soon begin to pace, not sure that what they've done will be enough to save this place. They think and think and think, deciding one last thing to do. Candlelight ghost stories. A story time by Candlelight will make its first debut. They gather all the matches found in drawers and storage places. Then 37 candles light up the smiling faces. Oh. They pack in paparazzi and the press from far and wide. Townspeople rush back to see this spectacle inside. The fire chief sounds the siren, his golden badge aglow. I see a fire hazard and I'm shutting down this show. Your 37 candles are a danger to the crowd. He opens all the exits, shouting, No flames will be allowed. Oh. The crowd begins to moan and the lady starts to sob. The cheerful, joyful group is now a grouchy, grumpy mob. The little girl says, Stop! Stay put! I have a safe solution! She raises up a box, illuminating resolution. The lady tells them chilling tales, shakes chains, then disappears. She scares the people just a bit, as she has done for years. She beams and blissfully bows as they beg for more and more. Her spooky story time keeps him coming through the door. Love it. The mayor gives a sudden speech. I'll keep this nice and short. The library has been saved. Thanks for all of your support. The lady gloats. The girl, she gleams. They glitter with delight. The crowd then cheers, because now for years, they'll have this lovely sight. The wooden floors still creak when there's no one in the room, but now the lady's happy, no longer filled with gloom. She spooks them on the stairs, in the halls and lobby too, and maybe someday she will haunt a library near you. enjoyed this story, please check it out at your local library or buy a copy from your favorite bookstore.